Alana and Tella Mooney from White Pine Homestead. Today we're going to give you a little pig update. Uh, just kind of let you see how things are going outside. And um, at the end, the kids are going to share with you what they do in the mornings, at least on their outside chores. And yeah, we hope you enjoy today's video on our update on what's going on with the pigs. And we'll go forward right now. Okie doke. Well, the pigs don't have much more time. When Nick gets home, we'll be getting them all butchered up for the freezer. And then I'll have a lot of rendering lard to do. I'm gonna make salt pork. That's kind of exciting. And we're gonna smoke a bunch of stuff on our trigger. Hi, ladies. So I thought I'd show you how much bigger they are. They are quite large, actually. And, uh, they're definitely dirty pigs. Morning, girls. How are you? They make a mess in here, no matter how much I clean it up. Or have someone else help clean it up or anything. Time to wake up and get moving, huh, ladies? Need some food in your bellies? I'm trying to get you a picture of their face, but they're interested in their food this morning. Let's see. Huh? Yeah. Pretty much stay muddy and dirty all the time, don't ya? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Originally they were they were growing at about small, medium, and large. There was obviously a bigger one in the beginning, but now they're pretty much close to all being the same weight. I can tell the biggest one if I really pay attention, uh, but it's kind of hard. So, our family and two others are going to have some meat for our freezer soon. Would I do this again? Absolutely. Yeah, I can tell you, other than the pigs did escape one time, and my neighbors came over, and we had to round them up together. Um, other than that, if you set up a good structure that keeps them in, they are pretty simple to care for. And as for people saying, oh, they're so stinky, if you give them a big enough area, uh, it's not so bad. They like to put their waste in one section, and they, they just root up the rest of it. So, you know, they literally create their own outhouse, and uh, it's not everywhere. You put them in one small area, and then you have to deal with, um, you know, them rolling in their own stuff. Or, you know, just not having enough room to get away from it. So my dad had told me this. And after seeing other pig pens versus what my father had said, we decided to go with what he, you know, he, he told us was the best way to do it. And I'm going to tell you, uh, we will continue it that way. And actually, next year when we get pigs, we're hoping to get a breed called the American Heritage Pig. They're actually an American breed, and they're a bit larger and, uh, well, they got shorter legs, but you get a little bit more bang for your buck in the time that it takes to fatten them up. Look at them. They're just all like, yeah, we're just going to all go to the one feeder at one time. And they're also a semi-grazing pig, so we will give them feed, but they'll also graze, and so they don't root as much. They actually graze on the land that you put them on. So we're hoping to get that breed next time and set them up in a much bigger area actually than even this one so that they have room to graze and that'll keep our costs down on our feed so uh, hopefully next year we can show you that all right well on to the next thing now lane and ruth mary will be out in just a few minutes they actually do all the morning chores outside and i'm going to let them tell you what we what they do but uh they can't however um I don't make them try and haul the big feeds a bag. And so the chicken feeds out. I'm out here to bring some feed over, put it in our food bucket. Lane will um, come out and make sure the animals have feed. I do the waterer because it's kind of a pain to do. And you can see the, the girls still have a run, but it's got a bit of snow on it. So we'll get in there today and shovel that out because they don't like to go out in too much snow. And we had a bit of snow the other day. If you can see all these little bits of paper on the floor, which is what that is, that's shredded paper. That is an experiment gone bad. Um, we put, because we save our eggs um, for the winter, we put them in, um, what do they call that? Hourglassing, I believe. 
our eggs, and so we put them in hydrating lime so that we have eggs all winter when these girls stop laying. But we can't do that unless the eggs are clean, and so we used to buy pine shavings and put pine shavings in their bedding. Every day we'd put fresh bedding so that we would get clean eggs. Well, I had read on some blog site that another thing to do that would be super affordable and not waste the money of um, buying those shavings would be to use shredded paper. Well, we have a shredder. But I would say at this point that is a failed experiment because one, we literally have shredded paper everywhere now and it's such a mess. And I could just have been putting it into my composting buckets that you can see right down there or composting bales because uh, they're a great compost but I was just trying to you know have a second use for it. Anyways we are not going to continue that any longer. We're going to go back to the shavings because we're getting dirty eggs as well. If we were getting clean eggs I might deal with bits of paper everywhere but we're getting dirty eggs and it's not working. So we're going back to the pine shavings which we use for Lane's uh, rabbit litter box. Um, he's got his one rabbit up there along with the chicken beds. So, all right, I'm gonna get this filled up for the kids so they can do their chores when they come out. Hey guys, you all set Hi. to uh, go outside and do your outside chores? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. All right, uh, what do you guys have to get done, Lane? Uh, we have to do cats, food and water, see if they need any food or water. Then I have to Go to the rabbit where I uh, go and one second I see if he has any um he needs more litter we change that already though and <laughs> he need if he needs more food or water okay. then we go down our little rock steps that are kazoo type right now a little slippery so we go down those. And then we see go to the chickens and see if they have food or like my mom said earlier the lit the litter stuff the okay paper shredding mm -hmm. that didn't work we're trying to finish them off and then we go to pig and use a sledgehammer and break the ice because it's so stiff right now we have to use the sledgehammer and then. Do you put more water in it? We if... put more water in it. Okay. To check their feed, and then we're done. All right. What about you, Rosemary? <gasps> Lane teaches me outside chores for, and he teaches me every day, and we do chores together. Are you Are you learning? I am learning. Oh, good. Cause that's that's important. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. What do you guys want to say to everyone? <laughs> Bye. And I hope to see you in the next video. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. Bye. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's see you in the next video. Bye.